Yum, yum! Hello, Lukas Pazara here. In this video, I would like uh, to show you a workflow for assembling a rig from modules in ACS3. So first we need to create a new rig. And actually when we do that, by default, uh, the rig comes already with one module and this is the base module that you can see here. Um, the purpose of the base module is to provide the space for the entire rig and a master controller that you can use to transform uh, the entire rig uh, in space. You can also create a new rig without the base module or simply delete it. And if you need it at any point, you can drop it. Uh, so it shows up as a just as a regular uh, module. Um, okay, so to start assembling our rig, uh, we need to start dropping modules from the preset browser uh, into the scene. So let me start with the basic quadruped back leg. I'm going to place it somewhere here. So in the ACS3, when you drop uh, a module, uh, it it shows up under under the mouse. But in case of the leg module, it also is set to snap to the ground. So actually, it will um, the snapping will take priority, and uh, the leg will um, the ACS will make sure that the um, the leg is on the ground when it's dropped into the scene. Okay, so the next one will be the basic hub, which will act as our hips. So I'm going to drop it here. Then I will proceed with the uh, basic uh, horizontal spine. So one note I need to say up front here is that all of these are just prototypes. These, these are not final assets. So these will most likely change and during the course of the development. Um, okay, so next one will be the basic uh, quadruped front leg. Again, it will be snapped to the ground. From here, we will go with, uh, let me find it, yes, basic neck and head. We can also drop a jaw rig in there and then a tail. At this point, we have all the modules in the scene, but we only have the right side legs. So we need the left side ones. In ACS3, um, you can mirror um, modules from one side to the other, and you, you can either create an independent uh, mirrored assemblies, um, as well as symmetrical ones. So first, let's, let's try getting the, um, I'm going to get the uh, mirror, the right, the back, right back leg here and if I do that what I'm receiving is an independent module so if I go to the guide edit mode you can see that I, I've got two legs and I can fit them independently so if I go like this you can see that now those two legs will be different so this is good for mod, uh, for rigs that need to be asymmetrical however if you just want a symmetrical rig. Um, let me just delete this module. You can also mirror with the symmetry. So let's try again. Mirroring with the symmetry. And in this case, if I go to the guide mode, I only still see just the, the original right side. And if I adjust it, the adjustment will be done to both right and left sides. Um, okay, so let's let's mirror the front leg as well with the symmetry. And that completes adding modules for our rig uh, into the scene. So let's uh, close the preset browser. We're not going to need it anymore. Now when I go to the animate context, uh, I'm, able, I'm able to grab the master controller and move or rotate the rig in space. And that's because all the modules get attached um, to the base uh, module uh, by default, just so, so just for the purpose of everything uh, moving, transforming together. But the individual modules uh, are still, you know, basically independent. There's no structure yet. So to do this, yeah, we need to connect modules together. And for that purpose, all we 
have to do is uh, connect the, the plugs of uh, a plug of each module to a socket of another module. So the plugs are those um, red circles, while the sockets are those um, blue circles. So these are basically the, the connection points between modules. And to connect modules together, all you have to do is simply drag and drop a, a plug of a given module on the socket of another one. And here it makes a connection. Now uh, I can also, um, I may drag and drop onto the socket precisely, but I can also drag and drop onto the um, a bind skeleton joint nearby. So that's just more uh, convenient and you don't need to be that precise. So let's attach the tail to the hub as well. Then we're going to attach the um, spine to the hub. Then we're going to attach uh, front legs to the chest and do the same for the neck and head. And finally, we can also attach a jaw to the head. Now uh, here you can see that the spine actually exposes a multiple uh, sockets. That means that you can make uh, that you can connect other modules at uh, multiple points um, to the spine. And that's it. I can go to animate context now and start animating the rig, and everything should be assembled together correctly. You can change connections between modules at any time. So if I go back to the assembly context, um, let, let me try reconnecting the front legs to a different socket on a spine. So this will be more towards the base uh, of the spine. So now when I go back to animate and I uh, will bend the spine, you will see that the arms front uh, legs actually they don't follow the spine as much, so they are clearly attached towards the base and not towards the, the chest. And of course, you can disconnect modules as well. And to do that, you simply drag and drop uh, a plug onto um, itself. So you sort of need to uh, drag and drop the module onto itself. So if I pick the plug and uh, just drop it on the joint uh, of the same module, it just gets disconnected. So if I do this, go back to animate, you can see that now my legs are not connected to any part of the rig anymore, apart from the base, obviously. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Yum, yum!